Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play some more Risk of Rain 2. Still, the Scorched Acres update. I have played a little bit in between the first episode about this update and now, but um, only a couple of short runs that were very unsuccessful, and uh, one that had a lot of promise, but I actually was forced to stop um, to stop that run and the recording because my PC was overheating. <laughs> uh, I was it was like 31 degrees in my room, um, despite having every available window opened, and uh, yeah, it was just scorching hot. <laughs> and I guess I was a bit too much for my PC. I was it was making very alarming sounds, and I decided to stop that whole operation. But now um, it's later at night, and the temperatures have gone down to more acceptable levels. So hopefully we should be fine. Um, let's try that again. Uh, I actually tried playing as the Commando again, my technically speaking second favorite character, but I was not having a lot of luck. Honestly, I'm just going to play Huntress again. And in the interest of unlocking a couple of things, specifically the new character, I'm going to play on Rainstorm. So, sorry if this is not going to be particularly exciting. We'll see. How... And of course, I quickly started like three or four runs, and they all started on the Titanic Plains, and which is by far my favorite starting zone. Um, or my favorite of, of the two, of the pair, of it and this one here. But I mean, this, this is okay. It's, I don't know, there's actually nothing wrong with this. I just like the aesthetic so much more of the planes. That level just really speaks to me. Not that there's really anything wrong with this one. I don't know. I'm why well, I decided to to suddenly start bashing it. It's actually fine. This level is perfectly alright. Oh, and I also completely forgot to do the thing. Um, sure, let's just turn around. I actually have money to buy that chest, so let's pretend that that's why I'm returning. I mean, the capsule is right here. So, yeah, um, I've... Uh, well, basically I... Uh, yeah, discovered this on camera, but I scrapped the run, so I had to scrap the run. Uh, so yeah, I know I now know that the fuel array is indeed in the escape pod, as the achievement kind of indicates, and that was my guess, and it turned out to be correct. Um, and as you can see, it takes the slot of the use item, the uh, equipment slot, and it also says something about being unstable or something when you pick it up, and uh, indeed what? Was there something here? Am I crazy? I thought I saw something. Something um, interactable. I don't know. Um, yes, indeed, I have already experienced what happens when it becomes unstable. Um, it will actually blow up and kill you if you... Well, if certain requirements are met. Um, obviously, I still haven't read anything about the update. Um, neither a specific patch log or, you know, um, patch notes or any discussion, any theory crafting at all. So I'm just speculating based on what I've seen and what makes sense to me. And it seems that after taking a certain amount of damage, either over a short period of time, that is my guess, that, um, that it resets after a while. But, um, yeah either after taking a certain amount of time during over, over a relatively short period of time, or maybe after taking a certain amount of damage in total across the entire run, which I hope is not the case because that would be pretty mean, or maybe just taking a large hit, a certain percentage of your health in one hit, that might trigger it. Any of those things might cause it to happen. So... Yeah, damage mitigation seems like a good idea. Topaz Bridge does help with that. In fact, I've come to believe that it might actually be pretty strong. Since you are going to be killing things faster and faster as, to, as a run progresses, you will basically always have a shield going. Now, in that, in that run that I had to interrupt, I was uh, speculating that maybe, um, unlike uh, shields, for example, 
or yeah, unlike shields from uh, the shield generator, this uh, topaz absorption, damage absorption, or damage, damage, I don't know how exactly it's, it's described, uh, that might actually not count towards damage you take in terms of activating the explosion, for example, setting off the fuel cells, but I don't know that for sure. Also, that's another thing that I started to speculate, and that is now finally confirmed. Uh, these special, specialized chests can actually, which makes perfect sense, uh, drop a higher tier version or a higher tier item from the same category. I mean, it makes perfect sense. It's completely in line with how the rest of the game works. So it wasn't really so much a question, but I hadn't seen it happen and now it's confirmed. So I can only assume that every single item, including tier 2s, as we've seen, and as well as tier 3s, is um, has been um, classified as either a, an offensive healing or utility item and has a certain chance to spawn from one of the respective chests. I'm gonna go with a sprint speed. Actually, I'm, I'm not because I don't have the money. Well, now I do. So I might as well... Uh, no, I'm gonna... Well, I <laughs> get sprint speed after all. That's fine. Right. So, um, yeah, uh, unlocking the new character. Now, I still don't know how to do it. Uh, the achievement says to repair the broken robot. Thankfully, that was not a big enough hit to trigger the, the explosion. Um, yeah, uh, repair the broken robot with the fuel array, which I have. So, um, my guess is that you have to carry it a certain distance, um, running the risk of being blown up for taking too much damage, as well as not having a use item, which is also kind of detrimental, needless to say. Um, so I guess that after you pick up the fuel thing on stage one, uh, you'll have to carry it to a specific point during the first loop. I don't think it will actually ask you to loop more than once. Oh, okay. So it's I, probably either on the third or the fourth stage. I have not yet made it that far carrying a uh, fuel array. I also wonder if it's uh, if it's stage uh, three, if it's either the ice or the scorched acres stage, or maybe it's only the new stage. But that would be that would mean that you have a 50-50 uh, chance of not being able to unlock the character on your first loop, which seems cruel and unnecessary. So it's probably I don't know. It's it's probably on on either of those stages, or maybe it's completely random and it can just appear on on any stage. But I would guess that it's probably in a specific location somewhere. But it could be that that location, that there is a location in the um, well, the snow stage, whose name I just cannot remember. Also, I've been up there. Wait, have I? Yes. There's nothing there. I think I might actually have all the items. Hmm. Just not a particularly uh, item-rich stage, I guess. Oh well. Uh, almost eight minutes. Not exactly great in terms of time, but it's only rainstorm, so we should be okay. Yeah. Looks like I've been everywhere. Okay. Um, I'm also very distracted, of course, trying to, you know talk about things and remembering what I've already talked about and trying to kind of uh, readdress the same topics and probably forgetting about half of them. I don't know. That's fine. I mean, I'll just try to keep my eyes open. Um, I, don't know, I guess... Well, as I said. I guess it could be on stage 3. It could be on stage 4. Uh, maybe I was speculating that maybe it's in that in that tunnel in the lava stage that used to be completely empty and 
served absolutely no purpose as far as I know. So maybe now there's a broken robot in there, so I guess if I make it that far and if the tunnel is open, I'll take a look. But my guess is also that um, either the robot does not spawn at all, unless you are carrying the, the fuel cell, because, because you cannot actually drop it. Pressing Q does not do anything, even while it's overloading and about to explode, um, unless I... Um, I, I know that I tried on one occasion to maybe throw it away before it blew me up, but it didn't seem to work. Maybe I didn't time it right, maybe I was pressing the button too late, but my guess is that it's just not possible and that while you're carrying it you're just doomed to potentially die if you take too much damage. So that's just the extra difficulty that you have to endure until you actually unlock the character. And then you'll never have to do that again. Unless, I guess, you want to. If the game still lets you pick it up. Probably, it probably will allow you to do it. If you want that extra challenge. Um, yeah, so... What else? I feel like I've already... Like I've, again, started talking about something and then kind of trailed off. Oh well. So... Either way, we're, we're carrying this thing, yeah, right, so um, that first somewhat successful run that I had um, on the new upgrade, uh, upgrade, update, um, I was looking around relatively thoroughly, especially on the new stage, and I certainly did not see the robot on my entire first and almost entire second loop. How far did I even make it? I'm not, I don't remember exactly, maybe I completed the second loop, uh, second loop as well. Well... Either way, I certainly did not see a broken robot. So, um, yeah, my guess would be that it only appears when you're carrying the fuel cell. Or it's completely random, which would be... I don't know how to think about that, what to think about that, if that's the case. I really hope it's not that random. Because that would be pretty mean. Now, it could totally be the case, of course. Who knows? Alright, picked up some items. Uh, two Will of the Wisps are actually not bad. Try to Dagger is also nice. What? What is this? Is this... Excuse me? No, seriously, what is this? That's not just a fragment of something. Is it? Um, cannot interact with this at all? Uh, I wonder if that's... I mean, it looks like the... the upper side of a... of a chest. Hmm. That's weird. Huh. Not sure what that's all about. If it's actually a chest that spawned to... that, that spawned below the ground, if that's even possible. Hmm. Maybe they added some new spawn locations for items and messed something up. Alright, anyway. Uh, I guess I'll go find the elevator. <laughs> elevator. Uh, teleporter. And activate it as quickly as possible. So it definitely, definitely looks like I have plenty of money and probably picked up a majority of the items present on the stage. Well, that being said, there are quite a few items here. Uh, let's take the syringe. Oh, okay, that kind of worked. Teleported right through the item. Not exactly what I had planned, but it worked. Okay, we got a healing chest. Okay, nice. Another brooch. That's 40 health per kill. We got a, a Runold's band. Pretty nice. Oh, there's a... Uh, sure, let's activate that, but move on. I have not yet been lucky enough to find um, a stage with three combat shrines. Beetle Queen. Hello. Hello, Your Majesty.
Her damage is not terrible. Something just took a chunk out of her. I wonder if that was maybe just uh, runal spend frocking. Wow. And also look at our look at my health absorption. It's, yeah, it's pretty amazing. I guess it actually does prevent you from taking real damage, like real hit point damage. So it should logically prevent the explosion of the fuel cell, which is pretty cool. I'm not sure if it... It seems to be limited to um, your max health again in absorption, which is perfectly fine. Yeah, again, that item seems really powerful. Surprisingly so. Oh, that guy blew up and launched these guys away. Not bad. Give me that. Okay. Another syringe. Thank you. Wow. Good shrine luck. What's going on? Alright, almost done with the teleporter. There's a chest there. Okay, more sprinting speed. Awesome. Think I've probably picked up most items though. At this point. I could well actually I never checked I never tried uh, teleporting. Through the uh, through the gate on this stage, so um, I don't know if if that still works or if they patch that out. I guess it would be that it probably still works. I don't think they probably made any major changes to the engine, to the physics interactions and collision. Don't know if they ever will necessarily, but it's also. Not super important. I mean, I could do it, but it does lose quite a bit of time. And while the items are good, well, I don't know. I've recently kind of stopped doing that. Stopped really caring. There was a capsule down there that I didn't open. Oh, well. Okay, so we did not get the new stage. And I don't know if the robot will even spawn on the third stage. Maybe it's the fourth one. I guess that would make sense. In the absence of a of a real final stage, as of yet. That is kind of the final stage. Certainly the most dangerous. So maybe it would make sense that you have to carry the fuel cell there. I mean, I don't know, maybe it... Maybe you actually have to complete the first loop and the prisoner will only spawn on one of those loops. In fact, you, you do have to complete the first loop and go to stage um, 7, right? The snow stage on the second loop. Uh, to have the celestial portal spawn, which allows you to unlock the uh, mercenary. So there is a precedent for a character unlock requiring you to loop. I hadn't really considered that before, so... Oh. We don't have a lot of money. thought I had killed more enemies, but I guess I have not. Okay, up to a 30% crit. Getting there. Goodbye, Bison. Come on, finish him off. There we go. Well, if I'm trying to think of kind of hidden areas where that broken robot could be. What really comes to mind is the uh, the empty tunnel area in the in the lava level. So I don't know. That seems like a like a um, likely candidate. Although I'm not sure if if it's thematically fitting. Um, 
I have not seen, not, not actually seen the new character, but I have heard someone talking about him. And apparently it's some kind of robot-plant hybrid. Like a robot with a plant growing out of it or something. Like an overgrown robot sort of thing. So I guess it would make sense maybe on the new stage, which with the, uh, the Grove Tender as a boss and, you know, kind of an autumn forest theme. Of course, there are also trees and vegetation on the f on the uh, two starting zones, as well as the wetlands. So, in that way, they would also make sense. Ouch! Oh, thanks for knocking me to the side and making me buy the wrong item. Awesome. My enemy's trolling me. I love it. All right. I think... I feel pretty confident in my killing abilities, so I'll go ahead and just fight. Fight the boss now, that is. Stuck. Well, Imp Overlord is known for his tankiness. So it's not surprising that he takes a little moment to take out. But he is certainly going down. Looks like he's gonna be dead long before the teleporter is completed. Okay. Should be going down before he teleports. There we go. We get another Berserker's Pauldron. Not terrible. I would prefer a. Uh, would have preferred a. Um, predatory Instinct, but that's okay. 97% and done. Awesome. We also got a portal. Hmm, I wonder, could the robot be on this stage? This seems kind of robot-related, so... It would make sense. Guess I'll take a look into all the containers. Wow, third Topaz Brooch. 60 health shield per kill. Seems pretty good. Uh, yes, definitely. Another form of damage... Uh, damage prevention. Yeah, got it. Something itching in my face. Uh, actually, it's still there. God, I'm being sabotaged. Um, well, so far so easy. Also, I mean, we are playing on Rainstorm, so... Shouldn't really be that surprising. No, there doesn't seem to be anything in there. Oh, hello chest. I always check up here, but I never really expect to find anything, so I'm always surprised when I actually do. Yeah, I'll probably end up spending an unreasonable time, unreasonable amount of time on this level here, trying to be extra thorough. Also going to check up on the ledge. We won't be able to make it all the way up there. Right? I don't think there is a way without a ludicrous number of double jumps or um, just ridiculous movement speed. Hmm. This is kind of tempting. I have some items that aren't super great, but I also have many items that are actually good. So I'm not going to do it. Uh, it's probably, like, in terms of min-maxing, it would probably be worth converting most, if not all, of my tier 1s. Oh, nice. Infusion. 
uh, into teddy bears because... Oh, no! Uh, seriously? That's... Why? I guess I didn't explicitly... They didn't explicitly say that that kind of damage, well, quote-unquote damage, uh, doesn't trigger the fuel cell. It's just any kind of lost health tr will trigger it. And apparently it's, well, yeah, I guess it's either taking a lot of damage in one hit or uh, taking, you know, a certain amount of damage over a couple of seconds. And, yeah, apparently... A Shrine of uh, Sacrifice does not count as any as a kind of special case, it's just literally counts as you taking damage. Which, well, I guess it makes sense in terms of game mechanics, because why would they handle that differently in any way? Of course, we know that it is affected by um, damage, by blocking damage with a, with a tougher times. Probably should have gone with the, with the sprint speed. Oh well. And uh, yeah, things like that. But somehow in my mind it was always, you know, more like just health being taken away, but not actually lost, like taking normal damage. I don't know. It, did, it never occurred to me that the shrine could potentially trigger the uh, the explosion. But now we know that it does. That is unfortunate. Well, we do start with an infusion here. That's good. Actually, we have two of the best items in the game as our first two items, so I'm off to a good start at least, but we'll see if that holds. I um, can't say that I'm not a little bit salty about that untimely death. And certainly, I, I certainly don't feel like that was entirely justified. I don't know. I mean, yeah, the fuel cell is unstable, so I guess it makes sense that it being shaken quite a bit would uh, cause a detonation, but, you know, Shrine of Sacrifice doesn't actually, like, hit you. It doesn't punch you. It just... you... you give some of your blood, I, I suppose, of your own free will, though. I don't know. I don't even know if they necessarily, you know... I, I, I think it's basically mostly an oversight. They didn't they didn't probably didn't think of that becoming a problem. I don't know. Or maybe they did leave it in on purpose. As a little bit of a troll maybe. Because I feel like it's that's a little bit mean. But oh well. I'm gonna stop complaining. And just move on. Oh, okay, I'm not going to promise that I'm done complaining, but I will move on. In fact, I feel pretty confident in my ability of in my ability to take on the boss, even though I'm a little bit low on money, depending on how much there is to pick up on this stage. Hmm, okay, that's not a great item. It's, a, it's some healing, so... Uh, sure. Let's do it. I'm probably not going to end up with a whole lot of cash here. Uh, Stone Titan? Excuse me? Oh. Hmm. Well, that's not ideal. Is he going to fall down here? Can he even fall down? Hmm. Okay, I guess that works. At least I can shoot him from here and I can actually avoid his laser pretty well. So that's okay. Um, would you please not do that? Oh, don't. Don't do it. Okay, didn't do it. Alright, where is he? Oh, of course he wandered off. Um, that's... I'm not sure if that's hitting... Oh, okay. Oh, well. 
I'm taking an uncomfortable amount of damage here. Oh no, oh no, okay. The explosion has, n has not yet been triggered, although... Okay, almost got punched there. This is not going amazingly well. Oh, that's also not great. You know what? Let's go up there. Yeah, figured as much. Please don't fist me. That seems like a no-brainer. Okay, some sticky bombs, and he's done. Okay, good. Alright, another really good item. Certainly not complaining about my, my loadout so far. There seems to be an item up there, it looks like. Didn't really look around when I jumped up to the other side, but it doesn't seem like there's anything. Not that I can see. Okay, 187. Not a whole lot of money. There's a chest there. There's a shrine there. Probably not going to have enough to fully play that unless I get really lucky. Also, is this a... Oh, that's just a... Oh, uh, another teddy bear printer. Oh, tough one. I'm gonna get... Oh, no. Well, you know what? Honestly, at this point... Yeah, of course. Take the two best ones away first. Well, I guess I might as well go all in at this point. The go move was nice, but... Uh, well, yeah. No but. It was nice. Now it's gone. Now we're back to... Base movement speed. Uh, feels so slow. Wait, wasn't there... Of course there was a shrine. Let's play it. There might be more more chests. More guaranteed items, but... I'm so slow. I'd rather not have to run all the way back. And we got lucky with the first one. Nice, there's a, a dagger back. Uh, one more. Oh, come on. 61. Oh, when? Okay. Oh, well. There probably was a chest or two over... Or potentially ten chests over on the other side of the map that I never checked. But I kind of want to move on here. We have a we have four teddy bears. Which might help with, you know, avoiding the hit that would otherwise trigger the explosion. So maybe they are extra, uh, extra useful while carrying the, the fuel cell. But we're certainly lacking a lot of damage. No doubt about that. We do have one dagger. Which is nice, but it's not really going to carry us. Excuse me. Please don't just snipe me from behind. It's extremely rude. Stop doing that. checked up here either. The thing is, many of these areas just cannot be reached without having pretty significant movement options. And I feel like unlocking the character is probably designed in such a way that it can be done by any character and is not dependent on a certain item loadout. I could be wrong. It, it's not necessarily that way, but... Um, that's my guess, anyway. Maybe all it requires is for you to make it to a certain point in the game, then it's basically free. It's kind of what I'm hoping for, yeah. You're not tricking me again. It's weird, I could have sworn that I used a bunch of those shrines on the couple of runs that I had in the meantime. Uh, but I'm maybe actually never on one of those runs where I was carrying the fuel cell, so... I don't know. Or maybe I had absorption shields to to absorb much of that. Of course, now we get multiple sacrifice shrines as well. To rub, really rub it in. Hmm. I mean, I suppose technically I did see the... Oh. Okay. Didn't actually take a lot of damage here. That's good. Um, there was a an item container, right? 
So technically I could uh, pick up an, a use item, use the shrines, and then pick up the fuel cell again. Because that actually works, I'm pretty sure. So in that in that way there is a way to, to drop the fuel cell, but only if you exchange it for an actual item. And you can then pick it back up. Wow, look at that. Four freaking sacrifice shrines. There should be an, up, an, an unlock for sacrificing to, I don't know, three shrines on one stage. Maybe there will be at one point. Obviously, they're planning to add new items uh, with every single major update. And many of those are probably require uh, are probably going to require some kind of um, challenge to complete. Okay, um, I haven't really gained a whole lot from this half of the map, so let's move on. I guess another area that I didn't check is down here. Technically, it, the robot could be in the... Hmm. Technically, the robot could be in the locked room with Runald and uh, the other guy. Yarrow. But then, I don't know, that's, that's already, you know, a, a secret or a puzzle that contains a, its own reward. So why would there be a completely unrelated thing also in there when there are so many other places in the game where the robot could be hidden? So that seems unlikely. Hmm. did get hit by that. Thankfully it didn't deal as much damage as I thought it would. Well, I'm not a fan of this stupid balls of destruction. Ay ay ay. Okay, please kill some of those big guys. Oh no. Vaults. Oh no. Okay, I'm somehow not dead. Okay, now he starts sucking. Always afraid of those of one of those balls just turning around and coming back to me because they sometimes do that and that's really cheap. Although maybe they fixed it, maybe they made it so that they more reliably blow up when they hit something instead of you know just rolling along a slope and just literally turning around. So that's the worst thing. You know, focusing on the enemy, uh, paying attention to the balls that come rolling toward you, and then avoiding those, and then suddenly being hit by one in the back. That is not a great feeling. Alright. 600 gold, not bad. Unfortunately, I'm not expecting to spend most of that. Yeah, I guess I'll... you know what? Why not? I will try... I want to find out if you can still do this. I, ex I expect that you can. Um, well, okay. That doesn't always work. Yeah. I've not done this in a while, so... Oh, actually, they might have fixed it? This is hardly conclusive evidence at all. Hmm. I might not have the right angle. I know there's also a different spot where some people like to do this. Hmm. One more try. Oh, oh, okay. You certainly can still do that. And that didn't work. 
Weird. I think I might not have the right angle. The thing is, if you do it just right, you land pretty much in the corridor. Hmm. Yeah, okay. I don't know. I mean, I, I do also want to check the chamber, even though I just said why I don't actually believe that the robot is going to be in there, but it could be, I guess. There is a certain chance that it might be in there. It is a hidden area of the game. And technically any character with with any kind of item loadout can get in there. Although, I mean, it's not necessarily reasonable to do, but theoretically it can be done. Oh well. I've also yet to find another incinerator drone. So uh, it looks like they're pretty rare. Unfortunately, I really like the one that I had that one time. Oh, excuse me? Where'd you come from? There really are not a whole lot of items on this stage. That's most disappointing. Hmm. Oh well. I'll move on and maybe we'll get the new stage next and maybe the robot is there? Probably not though, I don't know. The more I think about it, the, m the more I believe that it's probably on the second loop. Pretty much... Oh, wait, well, we didn't get it anyway. Also, don't like spawning literally right next to the freaking Greater Wisp. I could also really use a double jump for dealing with exactly this kind of situation. I guess I'm, my missile drone has started helping. Yep. Certainly. Okay. That's one problem taken care of. Um, I'm gonna go with more daggers. I would, I would like to have a key for a chance on extra items, but I don't think it's that crucial. It's really not a deal breaker if you don't have one. It's probably not worth picking over um, one of the better items. We'll see. I'll eventually get one anyway, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. Uh, so yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, the more I think about it, the more I expect that uh, unlocking the uh, the robot character is probably more or less um, or somewhat similar to unlocking uh, the mercenary in that you have to reach a certain point during the second loop of the game just to prove that you can you know make it that far with the extra handicap of not having an active item and of also being, you know, in constant danger of being blown up. Which is, which is certainly not great. What are we doing money wise? Okay, actually, not that bad. Um, I am going to pick, well, not a very hard choice, taking more maracas. Oh, there's the key. There's two keys, actually. Oh, well. All right. And there's the teleporter, which I think I'm going to activate right now. Sure. Oh, wait, we didn't even have a sticky bomb yet on this run. I was still mentally in on that previous run that I lost. Oh, well. Is it going to be? Play Dune Strider, of course. Ugh. Of all the bosses. Oh, wait, we did have Sticky Bomb in the very beginning, right? Also, uh-oh, damage. Oh, no. Okay. It's not damage in one in one big hit. It's definitely a certain amount of damage. Probably 
in a certain amount of time that resets after a while. Um, well, okay. So apparently not even playing on Rainstorm guarantees that I'll succeed. I'll keep trying, though. And I really wish there was a way to somehow skip the first couple of stages just because they're so slow. Or, you know, I don't know. Even on Monsoon difficulty, it's the game starts out so slow. At least it feels that way. I mean, it's really only about 10 minutes or so until things start to pick up. But that is 10 minutes of basically boredom. I mean, there is still the element of, you know, trying to use your time efficiently so uh, enemy difficulty scaling doesn't, uh, you know, doesn't get out of hand. Uh, hmm, tough one. Well, I guess I do like multiple secondary attacks for Hunters. I also like stunning enemies. I don't know. It's Neither of those options seemed absolutely amazing. Hmm. No items in this entire corridor. Amazing. Uh, well... I don't even know why I t took that much damage on the uh, on the previous run. I guess I was burning, so there was probably a fire lead that hit me in addition to getting hit by a couple of uh, artillery shots from the boss, maybe. Who knows? Oh, oh, that's utility. Uh, I guess it is, yeah. That's true. So utility chests obviously are not going to have just movement, but all kinds of utility. That makes perfect sense. I wonder though, I probably, I've probably i probably seen it at, at one point, but I don't know off the top of my head now that uh, whether a shield generator is considered healing or utility. I mean, technically, I guess it should be healing, because it affects your health. It seems like a little bit of a borderline case, but it's, I mean, functionally it's... Oh, interesting. Uh, functionally it's a healing item, so I guess that's where it should be. Uh, sure, I guess. Healing drone is not terrible. Interesting. You know what? I really like this item. And I feel like it might may not be a terrible idea to exchange all of my tier th tier ones that weren't amazing to begin with for brooches. Now every single kill will get a give us 60 uh, 60 points of absorption, which seems pretty good. Yep. It should max out at 288, right? I'll try and pay attention next time. Wait. Set now? Okay, there we go. Yeah, it seems to be the case. It certainly does not go above it. Hmm. But also, not every single kill seems to give me absorption. Maybe I was also taking damage at the same time. That's why it looked that way. Hmm. No, I guess that we certainly get uh, did get absorption. Oh. Huh. Of course, now I don't have anything in terms of offensive. Well, there is an offensive item though. Also, I wonder. I mean, 
Really, I just assume that having an absorption shield absorbs damage from a shrine. It does. Okay. Makes sense. That's nice. You can just build up an absorption shield for all your health and then activate that without actually losing any real health. All you need is some enemies to kill. Alright, sweet. Now we have way more money than we could ever ever possibly spend, but that's okay. The door is open. Well, okay. I should probably just launch a teleporter event first, but oh well. I don't think difficulty scaling has really killed me these last couple times, but that was mostly other factors at work. What is this? Just a pale spot. Okay. Oh, hello. What damaged you so much? Hmm. My drones? Probably. Okay. Uh, looks like pretty much done. Have I been up here? Actually, have I started up here? I don't even remember. Maybe I have? Um, yes. Yes, I have, actually. Okay. We already checked, and there didn't seem to be anything over here. Yeah. Well, we have a single sticky bomb in terms of offensive items. And we have a freaking one ring vagrant. Amazing. Well, we do have a gunner drone, so there's that. It's doing its best to help out the little guy. I going to take cover, actually. Behind the tree? Seems kind of unreliable. Hmm. Seriously. Uh, well, I guess down the cliff is probably my best choice. Although, uh, no, at this point, it looks like behind the rock here is much better. Yep, there we go. Oh, this is not looking super comfortable, but it worked. Actually, I think I might have taken the damage, but absorbed it for the most part. Well, that works. Okay, get some crit chance, some healing. Teleporter is done. Let's move on. It's, a, it's an okay start. We definitely need some offense, but I do feel good about those absorption shields. Hmm, okay. Blowing up pots does not seem to add uh, shields. Fair enough. I'm gonna use this one. Okay, nice. Not reliable, un unfortunately, but it's certainly gonna help. Okay, kill that thing quickly. 
grab the shrine. Oh! Nice. Actually, got complete freebies for both of the big hits. Tempted to try and teleport through the gate again. Because it seems like it's definitely still possible, I just must have gotten the, the angle wrong. But in order to kill those two big guys, I would certainly prefer to have some better killing options. Or another teddy bear, I guess that's, that's fine too. Okay, there's some offense. Please be good. Eh. Unfortunately, not particularly good, but oh well. That's a tough one. I think I'm gonna start stacking bombs. Ten percent crit are not gonna make a huge difference early on, and I hope that eventually, if the run keeps going on for long enough, I will get my uh, guaranteed crit chance. But you can never have too many uh, sticky bombs. So, starting to stack them early is... seems like a good idea. Again, mathematically, uh, you know, statistically speaking, picking up uh, one crit glass versus picking up your second uh, sticky bomb might be more beneficial, but oh well, I don't know. It might also not be. What do I know? Okay, we have a very comfortable amount of absorption shields going on. Have I mentioned that the brooch seems pretty good? Also, our damage is actually kind of okay. With just two sticky bombs. I mean, yeah, that's pretty much all we have. I guess the occasional Will of the Wisp explosion helps a little bit. The crowbars helped a little bit with the first 10% of the boss health, but hmm, yeah, I'm overall kind of surprised how well that went, how quickly that went. Well. Tri-tip daggers are a little bit tempting. I'm gonna play it once. Okay, maybe not a great, a great trade-off, but maybe it's okay. I don't know. I think a sticky bomb is probably always more worthwhile than a dagger, but having a dagger over no daggers is also pretty good. So in this case, it might be more or less equivalent. Okay, another scythe. Not super useful by itself, but a good investment for a future in which we have a lot more crit. Okay, looks like a chest and a shop. And another chest. Just healing, though. Oh! Oh! Aegis. Okay, I'll take it. Oh, I... didn't mean to do that. I just... I was holding the button, not really thinking. But I guess I got lucky. Now I have four brooches. 
that's uh, even better. The fact that they just stack, uh, that they stack so well. The tooltip, I think, if I remember correctly, says that uh, each additional brooch gives you exactly as much absorption, another 20, 20 health, exactly like the first one. Seems like it's maybe too good. Maybe they should reduce that, like they did with many items where any subsequent will only give you like half the effect or some kind of reduced amount. That would still be pretty good. I mean, yeah, eventually, you know, the actual health amount per brooch is not going to be a whole lot compared to your max health, but you will also be killing enemies in such large numbers and so quickly. Oh, give me that. No, yes, I opened that. Should get the cash. Yep, yeah, start, start off with 15 coins. Awesome. It's going to make all the difference. Yeah, anyway, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I just feel like the brooch is really good. You certainly can do interesting things with it, like, you know, building up your entire health bar worth of shields and then safely activating a Shrine of Sacrifice, for example. Okily dokily. Have I seen anything viable? Not really. Looking kind of bleak over here. Oh, there's is that utility chest? Yes. The actual chest is pretty much invisible, but thankfully the emblem stands out. Ouch. Okay, another healing chest. Yeah. Let's check, up, uh, check out the, the summit here. Hmm, nothing. This is um, an unusually uh, low on items third stage. Maybe they're all concentrated on the other side of the map, who knows. There is something up here. Okay, so range is good. Right, so last time I died on this stage, so I didn't really get to fully explore everything. And by everything, I mean, I mean mostly this place up here. Also, we can still activate this safely. I guess there was the the shrine I sacrificed too. So something did spawn up here. As indicated by the presence of a launch pad. So there's technically something up there, but I, I'm pretty sure that the only way to reach that is via multiple jumps or being you know, catapulted upwards by uh, having some sort of movement speed increase. Mm, unfortunately, these are two pretty tanky enemies, and ouch, that was a bigger hit than I would have... than I normally would like taking. Oh my god, okay, thank, thank god for the absorption shield. I would like some quicker to kill enemies to build up some shield here. Okay, okay, perfect. Give me that. Actually, I might have. I think um, Teddy Bear prevented the 
the entire damage there. Nice. Do I need all that money? Um, probably not. Do I want it though? Yep. If nothing else, it's gonna be extra experience at the end of the level, so... You know. Not entirely useless. That being said, uh, I probably wanna move things along. Especially now that I'm swimming in cash. Rolling in cash, as they say, actually. Magma Worm. Long time no see, buddy. Oh, there's a drone, too. Don't mind if I do. Oh, I have so much money. I didn't even realize I had that much. Um, that was... wasted. <laughs> That's okay. Magma Worm should die pretty easily. I also seem to remember hearing or reading that the dev wanted to maybe make the Magma Worm a bit more... a bit easier to damage for... different characters, or something about that some characters were having a significantly easier time um, fighting Magma Worms than others. Something? I don't know, maybe that was... maybe that's an older issue, and... I guess they, they partially addressed that by making the Magma Worms um, spend more time near the ground by during the phases where they actually crawl along the ground. So maybe I'm confusing that with, you know, something they've already addressed in the past. Also, traffic noise. Once again. Oh, don't eat me, please. Just took a lot of damage there, or I would have, if not for the absorption. But we're good. Everything's fine. Um, not much over here in terms of items. What's that? Gasoline? Eh. Gasoline is nice, but not that great. I thought I saw a chest up here. There's also one back there, and there's one over here. Okay, lots of chests here. So I guess I was kind of right. Oh, uh, sure, I'll guess. Thanks. Not my favorite tier 3, but I guess it's it has its use. Hard to say exactly what kind of a DPS increase it provides, but I guess it also has a kind of a multi-purpose, multiple purposes, in that it does not only make you sometimes deal more damage, but also gives you uh, shields and stuff. There's some crit. There we go. Can there actually spawn ever ever spawn anything on this on this platform down there? I don't think I've ever seen anything on there, but I might be wrong. I certainly could be wrong. Oh, guess I overlooked both of these barrels. Okay, looks like hello. Hello? Oh. Hold on. There we go. Uh, looks like I'm pretty much done. Yeah. Looks like it's time to move on. So, 
finally, time to check my hypothesis on the on stage four and the tunnel. We'll see if it's open in the first place. If I can make it there. If I can make it there, I'll make it anywhere. Goodness for teddy bears and absorption shields. So things start out pretty, pretty dicey already. There's a freaking Lemurian. Whoops! Almost jumped right into his fireball. Almost. Thanks to the shields, I would have survived that, as I just demonstrated. That was just a demo. Whew. All right, give me that and. Oh, that's a, that must be an incinerator drone, because that's pretty expensive. I think I want to hang around and actually grab it. It doesn't look that much bigger while on the ground, compared to other drones, I mean. There's a challenge shrine. Maybe this level has three of them? It could have. And since I'm going to explore most of it before activating the teleporter... Actually, I don't, I don't think the... Uh, Achievement specifies that the uh, the challenge shrines have to be activated before the teleporter. I mean, why would that be a requirement? It's not like they become unavailable after the teleporter is active, so... Wait. Oh, that was just a missile drone? Oh. I thought it was significantly more expensive than the healing drone, but maybe that's always the case. Huh. Oh well. Never mind then. I was just barely uh, able to afford that. You know what? There's a lot of wind going on right now, blowing right through my room here, which is nice. But it's actually getting a little bit chilly. Not a thing that I thought I would feel or, or say ever again after these last couple of days. It's been, just, it's been just searing hot. It's not even... Not even funny anymore. Uh, I'm gonna not take that. Never mind. How much? How expensive is that? Oh, I'm just a couple bucks shy. God, I have a freaking hair in my face again. Ugh. Stupid wind. Could that? Could I please have any enemies at all? It's kind of. Kind of ridiculous. What's going on here? Well, I got some money now. I mean, these items are all good, but I want the ukulele. Give me that. Oh, what? Wrong button. That's fine. Okay, there are more items there. I'm gonna maybe focus on. Exploring. Should also get the uh, Titan out of the way. Oh, don't get hit by that if it can be helped. Okay, where's our Titanic friend? Probably still in the middle somewhere. No. Hmm. There are at least two challenge shrines, that's promising. Oh. Of course, that's assuming I don't die before I can activate any of them. Oh, sure. Jump right into that. Seems like a splendid idea. It's also going to start lasering, yep. Sure enough. Single target DPS is not not amazing. Also, this corner is not very safe. Okay. 
I need to look for something else for the next laser, that's for sure. Actually, I can probably just jump up. Dash up the cliff, like so. Okay. Alright, Lemurian. Alright, that guy's dead. There was a Lemurian up there, right? Of the Elder variety? I think? I thought so. Hmm. Maybe not. I thought I saw a very big fire spewing thing just right behind me. Oh, there it was. Okay. Okay. Um, 2500, that's certainly not enough for a tier 3 chest. Now I want to check out the tunnel, I want to check out the, the highest platform, so why don't we go ahead and try and do that before something kills me. Here. There definitely seems to be a lot more stuff spawning up here. Maybe there wasn't anything spawning in this tunnel before. I feel like they they actually added this, added, added spawning points to this area. Where there weren't any before. I don't remember ever seeing any items up here, but now I'm, I've seen some on pretty much every single time I've been here with the new patch. I think there also weren't any enemies spawning up here, so maybe they just didn't add this place into, at all to, to any you know, spawn tables or whatnot. However, th these things work internally. Okay, extra shields. Come on. Uh, I mean, okay, not worth it, but at least I got all the items. All right, no robot up here. Didn't really expect one. Also, I have not seen an extra tier three chest. Fusion. Thank you. Much appreciated. Let's check the tunnel finally. Okay, this chain. Oh, and there is a third thing. Wait, actually, the tunnel is down here? Oh, yeah, of course it is. It is open. I mean, it was open occasionally before. Oh, there are now items in here, and enemies, for that matter. Hmm. Intriguing. Pretty sure that was not the case before. In fact, I know that for a fact. Even when the tunnel was open, I'm pretty sure there was... There would never... Enemies or items would never spawn in here. Ooh, sticky bomb printer. Tempting. Very tempting. But I would also like to keep my various defensive items. Hmm. I think I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna 
play this organically, you know, take the items that I get the normal way. Okay. And I think this is kind of the middle point, the main chamber. But obviously there was nothing here, so... Maybe the robot is not here. Maybe some kind of special portal is going to spawn somewhere on the second loop. Similar to the uh, Celestial Portal or the Shimmering Portal. That gives you the, uh, the Merc. Ooh! Another one! Huh. That increases duration, I think. What are the odds of getting that? I mean, I guess. Kind of low, but not that low. Well, if I don't die, I will definitely get at least one unlock on this run. Also, I should probably be pretty close to getting the, those 500 elites done. Actually, kind of surprised. I haven't done it yet. Well, I, I suppose this particular run has not really been going on that for that long. Okay, let's take a look at uh, how much the tier 3 is. Oh, wait. Oh. It is significantly larger, and it is... Also quite a bit more expensive, 2900, holy crap. Okay, um... Well, this might be a bad idea, but... Here we go. Alright. Uh-oh. Already took quite a bit of damage from the first one, that's not great. Not great at all, oh boy, okay. I'm regretting, regretting everything. This is not amazing. These guys are really scary. There's a lot of them. Oh boy, look at all those fireballs. Okay. Let's take a walk. Wait for things to maybe calm down a little bit. We have a ton of drones to distract my enemies. They're also currently taking a lot of damage. I'm taking way too much damage. Even under normal circumstances, but I have to keep in mind that I'm volatile. Well. Can't complain about a lack of excitement, that's for sure. Basically, I'm debating whether I should uh, activate the shrines first or, you know, uh, do the teleporter first. The thing is, teleporter event might kill me, the shrines might kill me, so there are really no guarantees either way. Unfortunately, as we have seen, <laughs> that was really close. Uh, as we have seen at this point in the game, the shrines can be pretty nasty. In fact, they might be worse than the actual boss, depending on what it is. I also have not seen any additional tier 3 chests, so there might just not be one. So I think either way, we're good money wise. In fact, between all those extra challenge runs, we really should be good on money, you know, even if there is another one. So, I'll just grab this and go hit the teleporter, and of course we get something useless. Oh well. I mean, mostly useless. Oh. Oh, no, I can't do it. I can't justify that. It's just not worth it. 
Normally I would, but I kind of... I still haven't given up hope. Oh. Blazing Grass Contraption. Uh, yeah, this is kind of bad. This could be really bad. I'm going to try and take my time with this. That being said, um, they've already taken a good amount of damage. I currently have a very decent amount of shields. Huh. Okay. Another one down. Taking damage. Re regaining shields. Another one is about to go down. Ooh. I cannot keep track of of their projectiles. It is literally impossible. Okay, we have full shields. Gives me some confidence. Alright, that guy should be dead. There we go. One more to go. Okay. Alright, that wasn't that bad. We get to Pauldron. Not terrible. Okay. Well, that was exciting. Now let's wait out the rest of this teleporter. There should be a couple more things to actually buy. Certainly not enough to spend all of this cash, but especially once I'm done uh, doing the remaining challenges. But I mean, maybe I overlooked a, a tier 3 chest somewhere. It's certainly not impossible. Where are you guys? Well, that's a few of them. Okay. And there's a few more. One more? Maybe only one more. Okay. Yeah, there are definitely more. Let's take care of some of these stragglers before we... Also, hold on. I have a freaking... There's a freaking hair that... Tickles my face. That's horrible. Ah, oh, well. I don't know where it is. I hope it's gone. Oh, sorry about that. That absolutely needed to be done, though. Um. Okay, we still got some crabs shooting at us. Still more? Uh, well. Greater wisps, huh? Two of them? Only two? Okay. It seems awfully harmless compared to the, what, three or four El Lemurians that spawned before? Hmm. That being said, Taking just one bad hit from one of these guys can very, very much kill me. So let's play it a little bit safe. All right.
right. Oh, what? I guess that... Oh, that was maybe a... Crap shot? Crap shoot? Crap projectile? Where are those guys? Hmm. So there was a cliff somewhere with a bunch of items left. Oh, there's a shrine back there. Aha. Uh -huh. There you are. You jerk. Oh, right. Oh. Well, I'll take that. Thank you. Huh. I mean... Of course, I say that, but it's actually literally useless to me. Uh, well. More infusion. Not sure how much that's gonna help. Oh, we do have another brooch, though. That is 100 health per kill. Seems pretty good. Just an incinerator drone. I mean, I, I doubt that the uh, the broken robot is just going to be lying around in the, you know, in a random spot somewhere. It's probably in some kind of special area or, you know, I don't know. I'm just going to keep going and trust that uh, it's going to be recognizable when I'm actually there. That I'll basically know it when I see it. Hmm... Okay, I think at this point I might have been pretty much everywhere. Except up here. No, no, yes. Okay. Oh, wait. I still have to activate that... Oh, hello, shrine. I still have to activate that one uh, challenge shrine, of course. That would have been very silly of me. It's over this way. Of course I have to play this. go. Two of those? Sure, why not? Why not? Have we been up here? Um, well, there's nothing up here, so it doesn't even matter. There we go. That should give me the achievement. Or not. Maybe I have to actually kill the things first, or maybe... Maybe it did actually require me to do the challenge shrines first and then beat the beat the stage. Hmm, that would suck. If that's actually the case. Maybe it says so on the achievement description. Hmm. Maybe you have to actually just finish the stage, and then the achievement will pop up. It was three, three challenge shrines, right? And I definitely did beat three. Maybe I should have tried doing all of those before the teleporter, just to be safe. Uh, well, also is there another shrine up here, or no? Some just crazy. Okay. Well, I'm gonna say that I probably got everything. Oh, there's still a crab somewhere? Oh well. There's always a crab somewhere. No achievement. Oh well. Rip. I guess... Uh, next time I'll definitely make sure to hit all the challenge shrines first. That was silly. I could have easily done that. Well, maybe not easily, but I could have done it. you dare. Alright, let's grab an item. Wait, do we not have enough money for 
for a simple chest? Oh, I guess we did not. Alright, a scythe. Another scythe, I should say. He cannot target you because you are... You were protected by the cliff. Sneaky bastard. Should have just stayed there, although he might have been unable to actually shoot. Tucked in there, so... I guess technically we were at a stalemate there. Well, I usually say that as soon as you start at the second loop, you're usually okay. It's usually okay to just rush the teleporter because you will typically end up with enough um, cash to afford everything there is. So let's just go with that assumption. Um, There is an uncomfortable number of golems around. Actually, I that was unnecessarily risky. Hmm. I certainly don't like fighting these guys out in the open like this. Hmm. This is not great. There are way too many golems around. And I'm not killing them nearly fast enough. Okay. Especially these big guys. Oh boy. Okay. Golem dead. Ugh. More golems spawned though. Not great. Okay, let's get some fast kills for some extra shields. Oh boy. This is looking kind of rough here. Get stuck on some random rock, please. All right, that was not that was not very helpful. Okay, getting some shields back. Please don't snipe me. Slowly but surely. Is his head actually like inside that stone art? Maybe not. But this side is definitely significantly quieter. Oh, that being said, that guy is lasering. Oh boy. Okay, things are blowing up all around me. Don't get frozen, please. Okay, I think, yeah, we took out one titan, two titans. Jesus, okay. Uh, what? There we go. Um, is that there we go? All right. 
fight another scythe. Oh well. And our single target damage could be better. For sure. Oh boy. If this stupid random beetle queen would have killed me there, I would have been really salty. I guess, <laughs> evidenced by the fact that it takes me literally forever to kill this queen. Do we even have armor-piercing rounds at all? Not that they help with random bosses, as far as I'm aware, but I don't think we have any. Hmm. Well, okay. Oh, that was uh, quite something. Now let's see if we can at least get some kind of rewards for all the trouble. Still don't have any kind of double jump. This could be one. Nope. Teddy bear, though, is not bad. Oh, there we go. Just this one? Um, there might be more somewhere. Okay. A key. A bit late to be particularly useful, probably, but we'll see how long this run keeps going. I mean, between not having um, an active item and just having taken an unreasonable amount of time on pretty much all the stages. Holy crap, this is actually not worth my time, let alone the risk. So thanks, but no thanks. That's actually a really rough challenge. But yeah, between those factors, yeah, thanks, but no thanks. Oh, uh, sure, I'll take this. I don't have a ton of healing though, I'm mostly relying on my absorption shields. If those actually counted as healing somehow, which I'm I mean I'm pretty sure they don't, but if they did, that would make Nukuhana's opinion go pretty crazy, but oh well. Wishful thinking. Um gasoline, nah. I don't think so. I think we're okay. Item-wise, yeah. Okay, well. Still trying to keep an eye out for something, for anything different, really. Anything that might have to do with the, with the robot. But since this stage doesn't seem particularly plant-related <laughs> at all, it's probably the least plant-related out of all the stages. Well, I, I guess together with the lava caves and maybe the ice, uh, icy tundra. Um, but yeah, between that and the fact that this stage already has a pretty prominent secret area, you know, secret gimmick associated with it, and the pressure plates and the secret chamber. Um, this is probably not going to have the new character. The next stage is gonna is probably going to be. I think it's guaranteed to be Scorched Acres. Oh, wait, that guy. So, uh, uh, what is damaging me so much? What is going on? Excuse me. Oh, that's a new enemy. 
What? 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 No! Don't you dare blow me up. Um, interesting. Pretty sure I didn't see that kind of enemy spawning here the first time around. Hmm. I wonder if that is already indicating something different. Or maybe they're just considered relatively dangerous and are not going to spawn on the second stage. Okay, thanks for for that wake up vultures. Oh boy. Hmm. Okay. Definitely wanna get rid of that guy. Also also this guy. What, what, what? Laser. Thought, I thought I was not in line of sight. Okay, so they turn relatively slowly, as I kind of assumed. What are they? Some kind of hmm, humanoid-ish dude with the giant cannon. Literally looks like a, like a pirate ship type of cannon, but... Fire is more like a Gatling gun. Hmm. Well, there was only then one, one of its kind here, which seems unusual. But it doesn't, it didn't drop the broken robot or anything, so it might be completely unrelated. Also, I never got that. Because I think the uh, Stone Titan started lasering me at the time. Um, yeah, well, I guess between two keys and a gasoline, I'll definitely take the gasoline, thanks. Well, actually, I already had two. Didn't even realize. Okay, give me this. Things are definitely getting extremely dicey here. Certainly don't feel particularly confident about, you know, my strength relative to the enemies. Hey there, truck. How's it going? Oh, already open, of course. I'm not going to activate the challenge, because I would like to make it to the next stage if at all possible. So, feels like a likely candidate to maybe have, you know, to maybe have to do with... Okay, there's another one of those guys. Uh, maybe have to do with, um, you know, the new character. Basically the only thing I ever talk about this entire episode. I also think his name is Rex, which I guess I should just say. That was a big hit! Um, okay, thanks for the shields. Oh no, oh no. These guys, I uh, don't like them. I mean, I kind of do. Kind of neat, but they're also really dangerous. They're somewhat tanky. Almost on the same level of tankiness as the uh, as the Beetle Guards, I want to say. Or I guess uh, Stone Titans, uh, not Stone Titans, uh, Golems. Certainly pretty nasty.
Of course. Of course. Three out of my out of my tier three items are uh, two frost relics and one um, catalyst that literally doesn't do anything for me because I don't have a use item. Ah, uh, well. Okay, we got... Not the worst boss. Now, that being said, I've been killed by Beetle Queens before. Definitely. Where is the guy? There he is. Um, um... Oh god, I need to get out of here. Uh, I'm also killing things, left and right. And front and back and everywhere around me. Holy crap. I guess I do have a good amount of AoE damage going on. Multiple Will of the Wisps. Actually, only two. Hmm. I wonder what's causing all this all this mayhem and destruction. Okay, we also have an emerald, or... Is it emerald? No, wait. Uh, what was it called? The new elite type? Um, maybe it's emerald. But I feel like it's something else. Malachite. Malachite. That's the other green gem. Ooh. Get another, actually a fuel cell, another completely useless item. Um, where did I target that? I don't even know. Wow, alright. Pretty rough. You know what, I'll give the the old glitch another shot or two. Uh oh. The wind. You know what? Hold on. I'm gonna pause for a moment. Okay. Back. Close my window. Because it was actually getting starting to get a little bit chilly. Wow, I can't believe hmm, maybe they only fixed specific Spots? That's interesting. I'm gonna try a more extreme angle. Hmm. Okay, so just hmm. I never was quite quite as good at doing it on this side. Hmm. But it worked before. I think you have to aim upward a bit more. Uh, nope. Certainly didn't work. Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know. It looks to me like they fixed it, because it used to work pretty much all the time. Occasionally it wouldn't, but that was few and far in between. Between? Few and far between. Yeah. Looks kind of patched to me. Oh well, I guess it's only fair, because it was obviously, uh, obviously a glitch. I'm kind of surprised, though. To actually see that? Well... Oh well.
Now hopefully we'll actually get the Scorched Acres on the next as the next stage, because obviously we did get this one twice. So there's no guarantee that you'll get the alternate stage on the second loop. Yeah, in fact we did get this one a second time, so I don't know. Um, I doubt it's going to be the uh, Shimmering Portal. Uh, huh. I mean, I guess I might as well. Um, something just dealt a lot of damage. Presumably the Imp Overlord. I'm probably going to end up dying on this stage here, to be honest. Hmm. I mean, I don't know. I'm pretty sure that the uh, unlock condition for Rex is something completely unique. Which is why I very much doubt that it's gonna have to do with, you know, the Celestial Portal. Which would just be a, a repeat. Uh oh of uh, the Merc unlock. I very much doubt that they would do that. Because they are certainly more creative than that, and not afraid of, you know, making the player do somewhat unreasonable things. And, you know... find some pretty, pretty well-hidden things, even for some major important unlocks like a new character. Maybe even especially for, for a major unlock, like a new character. We got entirely too many golems here, by the way. Malachite, Bighorn Bison. Alright. Okay. Okay, something ran me. You know what? Why don't we take a little hike? Maybe take out this guy first. Uh oh. Oh no. That just. Oh, that was an elite. Okay. That explains why it just outright one-shot me. Um, Do we see how many elites we killed? No. Only a thousand enemies total. Hmm. So I doubt that we actually... Well, although, that being said... Did we, did we actually not complete that challenge? Wow. We're still missing... About, I don't know, maybe not quite a hundred, but about 80 or so? That's a surprising amount. Complete three combat shrines from a single stage. I did that. I did that. It doesn't say anything about doing it before completing the, the teleporter. But I guess that must be implied? I, I suppose it is slightly more challenging to do that while more enemies are spawning rather than, you know, doing it after the stage is already completed. I guess. We also have to do this. I honestly completely forgot about this one, but also we we didn't get any... Hmm. We also didn't get any uh, golden portals or golden statues, so... Uh, that wasn't even an option. Repair the broken robot with an escape pod's fuel array. I don't know. There, there is absolutely no hint as to where that robot could po uh, could possibly be. <sighs> I don't know if I should just keep trying or just look it up. Hmm. Also, it looks like. Oh yeah, it definitely looks like these two items here are gonna be boss-specific drops. Hmm. I wonder. This could be from the Imp Overlord, and this could be from. Honestly, I don't know. Oh, you know what? This looks like it could be the mask of the of the uh, Grove Tender, the new boss. Right? And this 
I don't know, it could be a horn, could be a maybe a demonic heart, although this is already kind of a heart, a titan heart, um, I don't know. We also still haven't seen this, although we have seen quite a few lunar items, but yeah, just not the new one. In fact, we've pretty much seen only brittle crowns and, and gestures of the drowned and corpse blooms. Pretty sure that's actually the three kinds of lunar items that I've seen out of, I don't know, ten or so over these last couple of, well, these last two recorded runs. Hmm. Anyway, um, yeah, well, this was not super successful. I guess we did make some progress toward the elite kill count, but that would have happened anyway. And I'm a little bit bummed out about the, well, about that early death in that promising run <laughs> from, you know, death by Shrine of Sacrifice. That was a bit unfortunate, and I feel like it's more of an oversight than an actual troll, but uh, oh well. And then, yeah, uh, the fact that activating the combat shrines after the teleporter apparently did not count. That was, that's also a bit annoying, because it, it's very random whether you even get those. And then, yeah, the unlocking Rex, I mean, I don't know, maybe I was close? Maybe you actually have to reach stage 4 on the first loop? Or second loop, I guess? However you want to count. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll just look it up. I don't know. Um, I mean... Either it's obvious enough that I'll just randomly get it at some point, or it's obscure enough that I'll never get it without, without looking up help. So I feel like I might as well look it up right away. I don't know. Is that, is that a flawed uh, reasoning? Am I just trying to take the easy way out? Maybe. Oh well, I don't know. I, I'm also rambling. Um, as always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.